Former CNN anchor Lou Dobbs is under fire this morning for allegedly hiring contractors who employed undocumented workers, people in this country illegally. Dobbs, of course, has long spoke out against illegal immigration, and now he is defending himself against charges he is a hypocrite. We're going to speak to him live in just a moment. He's there at his home in New Jersey, and also the journalist who broke the story. She's here with us in the studio. But first, David Muir has more on the story. In a new report, The Nation magazine says radio host and former CNN anchor Lou Dobbs. That illegal immigration is costing this country and you as a taxpayer hundreds of billions of dollars. Long outspoken on immigration and undocumented workers and the people who hire them has himself relied on undocumented workers. There were undocumented workers caring for his million dollar show jumping horses and undocumented workers caring for the grounds of his estate in West Palm Beach. Dobbs, who has not ruled out a run for political office, took on the claims and the reporter, inviting her on his radio show. A young lady by the name of Isabel McDonald, a reporter for The Nation, has put together a fairly typical hit piece, a smear piece. Did you say that I hired or my firm hired illegal immigrants? I am saying that for years, undocumented immigrants looked after your show jumping horses uh -huh. and for years they uh -huh. looked after the grounds of your estate in west palm beach florida the nation magazine released video of what they say are the reporters interviews with some of those undocumented workers i am an immigrant who doesn't have papers but i work for him because he is a very important person dobbs has called the reporting a political assault and is adamant he nor his company ever hired illegal workers. For Good Morning America, David Muir, ABC News, New York. And Lou Dobbs is good enough to join us now from his home in Sussex, New Jersey. New Jersey. And here with us is Isabel McDonald of The Nation magazine. Good morning to you both. We appreciate you being with us. Good morning. Lou, let me start with you because it does not state, sure. and you accurately said, it does not state in the article that you yourself hired these illegal workers, but a contractor that you hired did. Um, you have been extremely vocal about this issue, and many say, should you not have known who was working on your property? Well, I don't know who those many are, Robin, but it's great to be with you, and just let me say, uh, first and foremost, there is no, and Isabel McDonald, the nation are there, I mean, they went after me as hard as they could in this smear piece, and the fact of the matter remains, I have never hired an illegal immigrant, never will. None of my companies have hired illegal immigrants, and we work very hard to make certain that we do not do so. Um, my accounting firm goes through every, every single person on our payroll to make certain that they are absolutely legal in every aspect, uh, not just simply citizenship. So what this is akin to is saying that Robin Roberts, uh, her building that she lives in, whether a co-op, an apartment house, whatever it may be, you know, she's supporting illegal immigration because someone hired an illegal immigrant in that house. Yeah, it's 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 fatuous, it's specious, uh, and it's uh, it's really a sad commentary that the left. I, by the way, my disappointment is not with the Nation magazine. They're a left-wing activist uh, advocacy publication. My disappointment is with the national media that has just gone along with this as if it were somehow uh, valid and without doing any reporting. And by the way, not a single one of those uh, one of those organizations organizations uh, con contacted me for a statement other than uh, CBS News. And how do you respond to that, Isabel, when he's saying that uh, it was a smear campaign, a, a hit piece, and, and that there were inaccuracies in your reporting? Well, I'd first like to first just address the point that Mr. Dobbs just made about how he had not been contacted for comment. He knows that the nation did comment, ca contact him for comment. No, I no, was no, seeking, no, no, no. I was seeking a comment. I'm talking about the mainstream oh. media. But you didn't comment for my article. Nor would I. I mean, I, the, it was a foregone conclusion, what you're doing. What, what would be the point? I had sent you questions that you never responded to. Uh, you, you sent me questions that had to be responded to within a matter of days. We knew what the uh, result would be, Isabel. I mean, why would we even waste our, our breath? Okay. So, Robin, first I'd like to just say thanks so much for having us both on and giving us this opportunity mm -hmm. to continue this conversation. Every, this is actually the third time that myself and Lou have had a chance to, to discuss this matter. And every time I feel like there's tremendous progress that has been made. Just yesterday on his radio program, Lou told his listeners that he had never 
indirectly or directly hired undocumented workers. Then, last night on MSNBC, he said that, in fact, he had indirectly hired undocumented workers. And I think what I'd no, like, no, what no, I, no, I think no, we, no, I think no, that no. The, if you're going to construct things, you're going to construct them correctly as long as I'm on the air. And what I said was I had never, ever used a contractor as a way in which to indirectly hire an illegal immigrant purposefully. Never, never Never. Let me jump in here just for a moment because, uh, again, Lou, you've been so extremely uh, vocal about immigration mm -hmm. and even going as far to say that people knowingly. And I think, employers, and I think reasonable too. Yes, yes, it. yes. And people that are who employ these uh, illegal immigrants, you have said that they mm -hmm. should uh, face possible charges. But knowing now what you do, Will you right. change how you go about with your contractor? Have you looked into people that are now working for you on your properties? Let, let, let me be clear. My, the people who work on my farm here in New Jersey work for me directly. And every one of those people, we go to great lengths. There is no way, in, unless you're asking me and, other, and millions of other Americans, to enter into the area of racial profiling, because that's the only way you can satisfy the objections of what the nation has raised. I mean, that would be racial profiling on my part, or on the part of those folks who work for me to assure that this sort of thing doesn't happen. That is what you're really suggesting. But why can't you uh, ask your company for, I'm sorry, Lou, why can't you ask your company for, for concrete proof? Because you have, I do, again. I do, I do. And I, as a matter of fact, five years ago, one of the conditions of hiring the landscaping firm in Florida was there be absolutely no illegal immigrants whatsoever uh, on our property. And, Period. And, and Isabel, you. And guess what? And guess what? It didn't work out, did it? And that is the case because this federal government refuses to enforce border security because the American uh, Congress, the American people, are not, are not capable of driving forward a simple public policy discussion that says, what are we going to do to resolve this issue? It's one of the reasons, and Isabel left this out of her, her, her reporting, I have been working for months and months trying to come up with a, a solution, a compromise on illegal immigration and border security in this country, working with all factions and continue to do so. Let me allow Isabel, thank you Lou, to have a, a final word here. Thank you. Robin, what I'm afraid is falling out of this discussion that I've been having for a couple of days now with Lou is the working conditions of the workers who have been caring for his show jumping horses and for the grounds of his estate in West Palm Beach, Florida. One of the young men that I interviewed was Pedro Gomez. He's a 24-year-old young Mexican man, and he told me he'd been putting in, on average, 12-hour workdays caring for Mr. Dobbs's show jumping horses. Sometimes it was more because he was, and he was actually living right above the barn where the horses were stabled. There were nine undocumented workers crammed into a two-bedroom apartment. These are the kinds of living conditions we're talking about. And I think we need to start, if we're going to talk about solutions, we need to first start, Lou, with reality. The You're reality right. of what the immigration system looks like now. And it's how a discussion that I've continues on. Work. Isabel Robin, and Lou, really I'm sorry. Stop. You know how at Erickson TV, the computer is about to take us off. There's, there's no control that I have about that. So, Lou, thank you very much. Isabel, thank you as well.